Hundreds of pro-Palestinian demonstrators marched in Times Square and the World Trade Center. And protests continued in a week when anti-Israel marchers blocked traffic at JFK Airport. Statues representing children killed Gaza were seen early Thursday in Midtown Manhattan after. People attended a silent march organized part by Jewish elderly groups. The rail system carries approximately 45 million passengers annually between Manhattan, Jersey City, Hoboken and Newark. It is the fifth most used rail system in America. Hundreds of pro-Palestinian demonstrators marched through Times Square and then through Zuccotti Park toward the World Trade Center on Thursday. There were dozens of police officers trying to keep the peace at both marches. While pro-Israel protesters also made their voices heard, it is not yet known whether there have been any arrests or injuries due to the demonstrations. The Zuccotti Park protest was deemed an emergency by the pro-Palestinian group within our lifetime. This is a critical moment voice our opposition to U.S. funding and support that contributes the genocide of our people, the group wrote on Instagram. Let's fill streets New York City with our message to end not only the S in Gaza, but also siege, blockade, occupation and colonization of all Palestine. They described Thursday afternoon's march as an attempt to move New York City for Palestine, stating that they are a Palestinian-led community organization. Organization added in our quest for freedom. We will not settle for anything less than being completely liberated from the river to sea. Statues representing children killed Gaza were seen early Thursday after people took part in a silent march midtown Manhattan. Statues representing children killed Gaza are seen after people took part in a silent march midtown. Manhattan protesters dressed black and carrying shrouded dolls hold a silent demonstration for Children killed in Israel's offensive Gaza pro-Palestinian demonstrators march to demand a ceasefire. Zuccotti Park protest deemed emergency by pro-Palestinian group within our lifetime according to New York City Mayor Eric Adams. More than 500 demonstrations have been held across the city since the October 7 Hamas terrorist attack in Israel that killed 1,200 people. Adams. Democrat admitted there was a good chance protesters would attempt to disrupt the annual New Year's Eve party in Times Square, where more than a million people gathered for the midnight celebration. Katie Unger, one of the protesters, touched on preparations for the celebration in a post on X as she walked. They're getting ready to celebrate New Year's Eve in Times Square. We are here to insist that the people of Gaza and Palestine also have the right to a successful, peaceful new year. This came a day after police arrested pro-Palestinian protesters who were blocking entry to New York City's John F. Kennedy Airport on one of the busiest travel days of the year. Passengers were forced g.